Hey everybody, it's Papa, and it's I've got another Christmas story for you. Isn't that sort of fun? Christmas is coming up pretty soon, so I wanted to keep reading you a couple of Christmas stories. You can still see our Christmas tree, and look at the star on top with a bow. It's pointing towards the front door, and you can see the wise man. And we've got a lot of good stuff going on. We're enjoying the Christmas season, and we hope you are too. So, I want to say a special hi to Janae and Laura and Caleb and Elise and Isaac. They're down in Puerto Rico, and they get to go to the beach even in the winter. That's sort of different, isn't it? And then also, how about Parker and Gemma and Lucy? We had a story about Lucy. So we love Lucy. And then Lily and Levi. I hope you guys are doing good. And I hope everybody's getting ready for a fun, good Christmas. Well, I have a fun book for you. It's called Rudolph. The red nose reindeer. Can you see the red nose? Why don't you point to the red nose? There it is. Can you touch it? Oh, can you touch it if I move it? Can you touch the moving red nose? Well, oh, where did it go? Can you touch? Touch? Up, oh, up. Oh, where's the red nose? Up. Oh. Anyway, we're going to talk about Rudolph the red nose reindeer. Let's see if I can read this story to you. This was given to Kendra a long time ago. And I don't know how we ended up with it, but it was in our book of Christmas books, our box of Christmas books, and it's, it was for Kendra. Okay, let me read this. Once there was a reindeer named Rudolph who lived at the North Pole. Rudolph was a young and, sm and smaller than the other reindeer there. There's a picture of R Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Do you see up at the North Pole with a lot of snow? And they've got toy land where they, I guess, build a lot of toys. So what we learned is Rudolph was younger and smaller than the other reindeer. They all had proud, tall antlers, but Rudolph's antlers were sort of tiny. I don't even see antlers. Antlers would be growing out up there, and you just barely, barely, barely see two little bumps. Worst of all, Rudolph had a nose that was big and bright red. It was so red, it glowed in the dark. Oh, my. You can see it. Even at night, you can see it. That would be weird. I don't have a red nose. I have a nose. Can you point to my nose? Can you touch my nose? Where's my nose? <laughs> well, who knows where your nose is. Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like the other reindeer. Oh, he really wanted... To have a small brown nose instead of a big red one. The other reindeer unfortunately made fun of Rudolph and called him a lot of names. That's sort of sad. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. They teased over and over again until Rudolph got really sad and he was feeling like he wished he didn't have such a big red nose. Sometimes the other reindeer would make a big circle around him and they'd sing a song. So here's all up. Oh, do you see Rudolph right there is little Rudolph? He's smaller than the other reindeer. And look at all the other reindeer. Oh, and look at their big antlers. Do you see their big antlers? Oh, everybody's got big antlers. But Rudolph. He just has two little dinky antlers. So they'd get in a big circle and they'd start singing, red nose, red nose, a funny sight, big as an apple and twice as bright. And then they kicked up snowballs and they'd laugh at him. And look, he's getting snow on him. 
because they were sort of playing around and having fun, but it wasn't very nice. Do you agree it wasn't very nice what they were doing? They were not being nice to poor Rudolph. Well, let's see what happens. All the reindeer loved to play so many games, but Rudolph was never asked to play. And so they're out all having fun and doing different things, and there's Rudolph sort of by himself. Oh, my. He stood behind a pine tree and watched. He was sort of lonely. And now you can see him in with the pine trees, and he's just looking at everybody playing. Look at that. He's just looking, and he's sitting in the pine trees. Rudolph couldn't even play hide-and-seek with everybody. His glowing nose gave him away every time. So it was hard for him to even hide and play hide-and-seek. Everybody could see him. And even if he played with the little rabbits, they would find him. Oh, poor Rudolph. Uh-oh. Before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign. And the sign said, Santa's team choosing time. So the elves are writing up a sign. And the sign says, it's time to pick which elves are going to go with Santa on Christmas Eve. And so all the reindeer, look at them. They're all looking at the sign thinking, oh boy, Santa's going to pick who gets to be pulling his sleigh and going all around the world and delivering the toys. It's a huge honor to be on the sleigh and to get picked by Santa. All the reindeer were asked to line up in the meadow at 8 o'clock in the evening. Santa was coming to choose the reindeer that would deliver presents to every good boy and girl around the world. The reindeer were so excited when they heard this news. They danced and they tossed their antlers. They were kicking at the snow. Each reindeer hoped he would be chosen to guide Santa's sleigh. It was the greatest honor ever for a reindeer. Look at them. They're so excited. They're hoping and looking forward to 8 o'clock in the meadow. Oh, Rudolph was sad. He saw the sign. He could read it. But he was ashamed to have Santa see his bright red nose. So he decided to do something. He decided to hide so Santa couldn't see him. So, when 8 o'clock came and all the reindeer were starting to gather, Rudolph hid behind a berry tree. And a berry tree has little red berries. And the red berries are a little bit like his nose. And so it made it harder for people to see him. So if you look at this Bush, do you see the little red berries? He was hiding behind the bush, and, pe and the other reindeer couldn't see him, but he wanted to see what was going on. Well, oh, here comes Santa. Everybody's lined up. Look at them lined up. Do you see all the reindeer? And there is Santa. He's coming out to pick who will be on his team tonight and who's going to help pull the sleigh tonight. In the meadow, all the reindeer, except for Rudolph, stood in a line while Santa inspected them. Santa chose carefully. Only the fastest and the strongest and the best reindeer or would be the ones he would pick because he needed his sleigh to go perfectly. So Santa said, I think Dasher will be fine. He's the biggest reindeer. And so <clears throat> he chose Dasher first and he told the elf to write down Dasher on the list. So the elf wrote Dasher. <laughs> 
And then, Dancer is the strongest, said Santa, pulling on his beard. So now he said, you know what? I think Dasher ought to be out there and Dancer. And Dancer is the strongest. So the little elf wrote down Dancer. Then, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, let's see, said Santa. There's Prancer and here's Vixen. They make the smoothest landings on rooftops. They land very quietly. Comet, he's the fastest. And Cupid is the most sure-footed. At last, Santa said, I choose Donner and Blitzen. They're the best at twisting over treetops and skimming over telephone poles. So, Santa was picking his reindeer. They were the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, the softest landing, the ones that could twist over trees. What a team. He's got such a good team of reindeer. Everything's going to be really good because he picked some really good reindeer. The reindeer and Santa's team were super happy. They rubbed their noses, they danced, and they clicked their antlers together. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given some good jobs to do. One was to try out electric trains, and another was to cuddle the Christmas kittens. So here's some of the reindeer that weren't going to be flying with Santa and pulling his sleigh, but they had important jobs to do too, and they were happy. And they were keeping Christmas kittens warm and testing out the trains and helping so everything was going to go just right on Christmas Eve. Isn't this exciting? But what's Rudolph doing? What is Rudolph doing? Because such good things were happening to everybody else. Well, the only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. He wanted to help so bad, but he knew he'd be laughed at. Or at least he thought he'd be laughed at. So he stayed hidden behind the holly hedge. He was watching what was going on. And he blended into that hedge so people couldn't see him and the reindeer couldn't see him. But he was sad. And he was just not wanting to have people see him. But he didn't have a job, and he wanted a job so bad. At last, it was Christmas Eve. Santa's elves were super busy packing the sleigh. Oh, there's the sleigh, and there's the elves, and they're starting to pack all the stuff in it. Look at that. They've got a lot of work to do. Have you ever gone on a trip and had to pack the car and pack it really full? Well... <clears throat> That's sort of what they're doing. They're packing the sled full of presents. It's going to leave full of presents and it'll come back empty. But a lot of work to do. I, and then Rudolph said, I don't care if they do make fun of me. I want to help too. Rudolph just couldn't stand it anymore. He said, by golly, I want to help. I want to have a job. Even if it's a simple job, I want to help. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to help really a lot? And you thought, everybody else is helping. I want to help. Well, he dashed from his hiding place. So he came out from behind the bush. And he went running to try to find Santa. There must be something I can do to help. He decided, I've just got to go. So he took off running, trying to find Santa. That night was bitter cold, and a terrible fog covered the earth. A fog is like a huge cloud that goes all the way down to the ground. So when you look up in the sky and you see clouds... If one of those clouds sort of falls, it can get all the way down to the ground and you can hardly see through it. It's like a blanket. You can hardly see when you're inside of a cloud. So, to make matters worse, Dasher and Dancer, those are the first two that got picked, 
were fighting over who was going to be the lead reindeer. So they were saying, I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to be the first one. And they were sort of fighting. And Dasher said, I was chosen first. And he started stamping his feet. But you always trip over the moon, said Dancer. And he was kicking his feet. Suddenly, Santa was not very happy with this arguing. Have you ever seen arguing? And then somebody says, stop it. Well, we'll never get out of here if you two don't stop quarreling. <gasps> Santa was telling those two, and look, he's got his finger up like, you two need to stop arguing. Look at Santa, you can see his finger right there. He's sort of going, you need to stop arguing. We need to work together. And so there's Santa. He's almost a little bit annoyed, maybe sad, because he doesn't want anything to be not happy. He wants it all to be super happy. Okay, then he said, we'll never get there if you don't stop quarreling. And when, and where's my Christmas list? Gosh darn it, I can't find a thing in this fog. So now even Santa Claus is getting a little bit sad. He can't find his list. He can't find his list. And it's like, I can't see anything in this fog. This is going to be a really hard Christmas Eve. So... Santa, and even the reindeer. The fog is making it hard for them. What are they going to do? Can they even fly? Oh, just then, a soft red glow lit up the snow. And Santa said, thank goodness, suddenly I can finally see. This is wonderful. Oh, Look over here. I just found my list. Ho, ho, ho. I must have tucked it in my belly. So there's a little glow that was happening. And all of a sudden, Santa could see pretty well. And he found his list. And Santa was starting to feel pretty good. <gasps> Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, said Santa. I'm certainly glad to see you. Your light will guide my sleigh tonight. I appoint you to be my team, on my team, and the number one reindeer in all the world. Look at that. There's Rudolph, and he looks like he's smiling. And Santa is so happy to see him because when Rudolph's there, they can see just really good. And so now... Even with the fog, they're going to be able to do their job. Well, look at that. Rudolph held his head high. He was feeling so good. He proudly pranced over to the front of the team. All the other reindeer were excited to see him. Donner and Dancer helped reindeer put on his harness, and Cupid gave him a really nice present. So there he is, he's walking in, and there's Dancer and Dasher there helping him get ready so he can lead the team. So now everybody realizes that without Rudolph, they're going to have a bad night, and they might not even do, be able to do their stuff that they need to do tonight. So they're super happy to have Rudolph. Isn't that a change? Then down, down through the clouds and over the sleeping houses, Santa and his team flew on that foggy Christmas night. Look at Rudolph and look at Dasher and Donner and all the other reindeer. And there's Santa Claus way in the back. But Rudolph, Rudolph is the one that's in the front. And that's a huge honor and leading the whole procession was Rudolph. He was leading the entire team. So if you see a soft glow, a soft red glow, in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the most famous reindeer of all,
is very near. So that's the story of Rudolph. Somebody who started out very sad and actually didn't even like his nose. And now his nose made him very famous. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you're getting ready for Christmas. I love you and I'll be looking for more stories. I like it when you send me little uh, Marco Polos to uh, talk about the stories. That's a fun thing. Well, I hope you have a great day. And remember one thing. What am I going to do next? Do you guess? I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great Christmas coming up. Bye-bye.